We have a very nice slope question in front of us. Before solving this question, let's review some simple information we need to know about slope. One of these is the equation of a line. If it's given to me in the form y equals x plus b, the coefficient of x here gives me the slope. If the equation of the line is given to me in the form x plus y plus c equals 0, I find the slope like this. I divide the coefficient of x by the coefficient of y and take the negative of that. Now I'm told that the perimeter of the rectangle is 30. Let's interpret this information. If I call the short side n and the long side m, then the perimeter of the rectangle will be 2m plus 2n. I set this equal to 30. From here, I can conclude the following. The sum of m and n will be equal to 15. We are told that these lines intersect at point k and on the x-axis. Let's denote this with point k and keep it in mind. Let's erase this information here as well. Now we are asked for the area of the rectangle. Since we've called this side m and this side n, we can express the area of the rectangle as m times n. Let's do that as well. Now let's move on to the equations of the lines here. As we saw earlier, the coefficient of x here will give us the slope of the line. So in this case, since the coefficient of x is 1, the slope of the line will also be 1. How will we find the slope of the line here? We will divide the coefficient of x by the coefficient of y. So the coefficient of x is minus 1. The coefficient of y is 5. Minus 1 divided by 5. And we will also change its sign. Since two negatives come together, it will be 1 over 5. Since the lines intersect at point k, um, I don't actually need to consider the entire coordinate plane here. So just looking at the parts after k will be enough for me. That's why I'm erasing the shape here up to point k. Now, I can solve the question using the slopes. Saying that the slope of this line is 1 means that for any point I choose on it, the ratio of its vertical component to its horizontal component is 1. In other words, this side here and this side here will be equal to each other. Since this side is n, I can also call this side here n. The slope of the line here is given as 1 over 5. This means the following. The ratio of the vertical distance to the horizontal distance here will be 1 over 5. So if I call this n, then the length here must be 5n. Since this is 5n and this is n, I find that m is 4n by subtracting n from 5n. Now let's solve our equation. Since m is equal to 4n, I substitute 4n for m here, and thus 5n equals 15, so I find n to be 3. Since I found n to be 3, m will be 12. The question was asking for the product of m and n. I multiply the two, and thus I find the area of the rectangle to be 36.